Hi guys, Betsy here. Welcome to another Minecraft video tutorial on horses. Today we're going to look at how far they can jump. So you'll see I have set up a series of jumps increasing in length. So let's go get some horses and start testing. This is our solid black. He did the race course in 9.8 seconds, so he was he was faster. Uh, he only jumps two and a half, so he's not a terrific jumper. So let's go ahead and start him out. Now I ran this myself and was I, I have never tried to jump a chasm before. Um, and I'm able to get over four. That's that's the maximum length. Uh, so let's see what um, and this is actually even harder, I find, than, than, than jumping those obstacles. Um, but let's see how he can do. So that looked pretty easy. I didn't even get him to this maximum. That was, what was that, five? Okay, so in here's six. Almost missed it, but he's over. Try seven. And I hit that crookedly and I was finding that was kind of a cheat that sometimes they'll make it over when they really aren't supposed to. So that was that was an honest effort there, getting over seven. Let's see about eight. And I didn't hit that right. So get him out of the puddle and try one more time. Oh, I'm still not hitting this right. Yeah, it 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 takes some it takes some practice. There we go. And he made it. So that's eight. Let's try nine. Nope, and again I missed it. It's hard getting some of the jumpers out that don't do very well. And he did nine. Let's try ten. I didn't quite get the full amount of his jump out of that. But some of the jumpers that don't jump very high, it's actually even hard to get them. So there's ten. Um, some of the jumpers that jump like only one and a half, you can hardly even, I've got these pits too deep, and um, sometimes it's hard to get him out of the out of the puddle, but luckily he's got enough to, to get him up out of there. I don't think he's going to be able to make this, um, and I've been doing some tests. Um, yeah, so that was a full length, oh come on. Um, so the the minimum, the maximum that he can jump, the maximum length is 10. Let's go get another horse. So just for some comparison, I went and got the slowest horse that we had. Um, this little buckskin Appaloosa did the time trial in 13.5 seconds. He was our our slowest horse. So the last horse uh, that I with the black one I was just riding um, did the race course in 9.8. So 13.5. He's a lot slower. Um, he's a little bit better jumper. The black one I was on um, the height the highest height he could jump was two and a half. This one does three. So let's take him through, and I'm going to start at five, just not so we don't waste too much of our time. He's, it's really difficult, especially if you're switching back and forth between horses that have um, differences in, you know, big differences in their speeds, um, to time these just right so that you're releasing that space bar just as, uh, and he almost went in the water, but at least he got over. Um, as you're releasing the bar right as he needs to jump with not too much um, you know extra distance don't anticipate so yeah it's hard to time it just right and okay so he's over eight and remember the last one could do ten so oop, I missed that one get him out of here let's try that one more time Well, it wasn't quite the total maximum, but I don't think that he can do this. And what I discovered was, yep, he cannot do nine. The maximum that he can jump is eight. So even though he's a better jumper, he's really slow. And that makes a bigger difference with these with these length jumps is the speed of the horse, not the height of the jump. I mean, obviously they both they both play in. Um, I'm going to go run some more tests, but um, that's what this is looking like. Is that while jump height is important, it's more the speed of the horse that will determine how far they can jump. So let me go run some more tests, and I will come back. 
This is the brown horse from the height jumping trials that we did. He ran the time trial in 11.6, so I had chosen him because um, he was pretty slow. And he was able to jump the four high jump behind us. Um, so he's a good solid jumper, even though he's kind of slow. So let's see how he performs this course. And I'm going to go ahead and start with five again. And, you know, you can see, I mean, he's leaping over these things. I'd almost want to skip six, but let's just be, we'll be scientific about this. And I think I overshot that, you know, the timing it, the jump before I needed to go, but he still got over it. And you can see I didn't give him all his power, but he got over that one too. That was seven. Here's eight. And, yep, I put him in the drink. All right. There we go. That was, oh, I'm sorry, that was eight. Here's nine. And you can see again, I didn't give him all his power, but he didn't need it. Let's do 10. And he's over 10. Let's try 11. Oh, bad jump. One more time. Oh, I didn't quite give him all of his power. Let's give it one more try. Yep, again. It's, it's really hard to time these things just perfectly. There he is, and he can't make this. So even though he's a four high jumper, he's really slow. So the longest that he can jump is 10. Let's go get a faster horse that can jump as high. Of the three horses that we found in this group that could jump uh, four high, this was the fastest. He did our time trial in 10.2 seconds, which was a lot faster than the brown I was just on, who did it in 11.6. Now, we've got faster horses in this group. Uh, there's the fastest one that did the time trial in 7.4. But I wanted to see that one, that 7.4 horse is not a great, I think he jumped three maybe. We'll get him next. But I wanted to see, is it is it the height of the jump or is it the, the length or the speed um, that makes a difference in the course? So let's let's see what this one can do. So we'll start out with five. And you can see he's clearing these short ones, shorter ones, pretty easily, even though I'm being kind of not too careful about how much power I'm giving him. Oh, and then now I put him in the drink. Yeah, it's it's really hard switching back and forth between these horses that have different speeds, because it just really you get used to one and kind of how you're supposed to time it, um, and then you kind of have to get yourself set for the next one, so it takes some practice. So that was nine. Let's try ten. I didn't quite give him all of his power. Let's do that one again. Oh. One more. Oh. I might have to come back when I can show you how that he can make this. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. He didn't have all of his power, but he made 10. Let's try 11. Oh. I thought I'd timed that one just right. No. Oh, okay. So, he's over 11, and it kind of looked like I shorted him a little bit, so now it makes me wonder if he can do 12. Hmm, I don't think so. He got over 11, but I, I've i ran him before and 11 was the best we could do. Yeah, he can't do 12. So this horse, at least he can do better than uh, the brown, which could only do 10 because he was so slow. So same jump height, this one's faster, he can do 11. So let's go get that super fast horse and see what he can do. 
This is that uh, the gray with white stockings that did the time trial in 7.4 seconds. He is the fastest horse that we have found so far of this group. Uh, but as I mentioned, he's not a terrific jumper. He can only jump three. So let's take the course and, and see how that measures up. And I think what it means is I have to be very careful even in these early jumps that I time it just right and it's really hard because he's so fast he just comes up on those things I mean compared to the 10 he's just yeah really super fast so that was eight here's nine I didn't think I was gonna make that here's ten oh, so ten let's try eleven and he's over that. So let's try 12. And he's over that too. So you can see, and I'm, I'm going to try on 13. Um, the narrower the margin for error, um, the harder it is, especially on this really fast one. So it might take me a few tries um, to show you. I have tried this so many times, and he just can't quite make it. Um, so, but let's run a few, and you can see that was that was his full power, and he just he just can't make it. So even though he's not the highest jumper because he's so fast, he can actually make 12 better than uh, the other jumpers that we had. So let me put him away, and I want to walk you through the paddock and show you some of the results from the tests that we've done just a recap so here are the ones that we uh, just walked or uh, uh, ran through the course uh, the fastest one that was 7.4 height of 3 was able to do all the way up to 12 uh, another horse that was a lot higher jumper um, but a lot slower could only do 11 and then his counterpart that could also do 4 but was even slower could only do 10 um, then just kind of for the middle of the road Here's a fairly hor fast horse, low jumper, um, and he only was able to do 10 as well. So um, let me just run through the paddock and you'll see some uh, duplicates here because they actually came from these rows. But um, here's 11.7 uh, height, and oh, this was another one that was able to jump four. Um, so he's just like that brown one back there. He was only able to do 10. Uh, this one was pretty fast 9.5 pretty decent jumper he could get all the way up to 11. Uh, here's a pretty slow horse decent jumper 10. Bullseye pretty fast you know decent height just like the black one he can do 11. Um, this one was pretty fast but a pretty terrible jumper so he could only get eight and I just tested him again just to make sure and that was only what I was able to get from him too. Um, time of 10.3, height of 2, length of 9. Again, the height is playing into this, but if you've got a comparable, um, you know, pretty closely matched horses, it's the end, at the end of the day, what I'm, what I'm really seeing is that it's the, it's the speed as, as more than the height that's making the difference between whether or not a horse can, can jump longer. Um, so yeah, oh, there's the guy that's back over there, the brown one. Uh, here's a 8.6, pretty, pretty good speed, pretty good height, and 11. These, that one's missing. This one's good speed, terrible height, 9. Uh, this one, slow, pretty high. Oh, it's almost a duplicate. This is one of the, this is the slowest, I think, um, horses that can jump 4. Um, but because he's slow, so slow, he can only jump 10, too. Uh, oh, that's the fast one in there. Uh, and here's the Black Beauty, 9.1 three and a half, eleven. I don't think I did all of these ones down here. Nope. I, I kind of stopped testing. It was interesting that first row was sort of the extreme examples um, and these just kind of ended up repeating themselves. So um, what I'm going to show you next is breeding. I was interested then of course in improving the performance of jumpers and then you know based on their timing and how high they can jump if we could get some that could jump 13. So that's what we're going to do in our next video. Uh, so if you enjoyed this please do drop me a like below and until next time this is Betsy signing off. Take care.